Hello, today I'd like to show you how to make uh, quarter square triangles from five inch squares. So this is a little sample of one that I've made and I'll show you how I've gone about making that. So um, me and my little affair with five inch squares is doing really well. And I, so I've actually cut some. I wanted to make a quilt that's going to be specific colours rather than just scrappy this time. And I love this um, soft sort of, I don't know what it is, but it's a linen fabric. It's lovely. I love that we can use these different textured fabrics in our quilting. Um, and it's a sort of a yellowy kind of colour. Um, and I thought it looked really nice with this grey colouring. So I've cut out some five inch strips from my fabric. Um, across the fabric and then I've cut those into five inch squares. So I'll just show you then how I'm going to do this. So I've got a couple of five inch squares here. I've got my linen there right side up, not that there's particularly a right and a wrong side on the linen, and right side down with my coloured fabric and I've got a couple of these just sitting here. So initially we're going to start off making half square triangles and I've shown you those in a previous um, video to do with making half square triangles from five inch squares. So we start off by drawing a line just with a pencil or something and um, right across the diagonal of our squares on the wrong side of the fabric and then we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew a quarter of an inch away from that drawn line on either side of the line and you can pop these through um, one after the other in a chain so I'm going to do that with these two. So just that quarter of an inch, it's just a scant quarter of an inch, you don't want to go too big. So starting with the five inch squares, now we're making half square triangles by sewing either side of this line. So we'll do one and then we'll feed the next one in. So I'm just sewing to the left hand side, of approximately quarter of an inch to the left hand side of that drawn line. And then I want to turn those around and come back up the other side of that drawn line. So I should have a, approximately half an inch between the two lines of sewing. I'll take that out, snip my threads off. And I'm going to snip them apart. And I'm going to cut them now on the drawn line up between the two rows of stitching. It doesn't of course have to be five inch squares, I just happen to quite like them. They're convenient. Um, so now I'm going to press that. Now because I'm using a linen fabric, it's slightly heavier than the cotton fabrics, so it will be easier if I press towards the cotton fabric rather than into the linen because the linen's being that little bit thicker, just a little bit harder to press. So I'm going to press them that way. And as you can see, I've now made half square triangles, which if I was going to use them like that, I would be trimming those down. But we're not going to trim them just yet because we're going to sew some more to make the quarter squares. Okay, so I've pressed those over now. And now I'm wanting my squares to have the same fabric within each square. So I'm going to use two of the same, the two that I've made are going to go together. If you were wanting to mix your fabrics around, well, now would be a good opportunity to put different ones together. But because I want the same, so I'm going to lay one that way and I'm going to lay the other one on top, right sides together. And I'm going to make those seams match. So all your edges should match pretty closely and that seam, you can feel it where it just nestles in there. And I'll just get both of them ready while I'm here. And then we're going to draw another line across, going the, in the diagonal in the other direction this time. So we're going to cross over that sewn line with a drawn line, again from point to point. Just a line so that you can see it when you're sewing. So everything is looking pretty good. It's all matching quite well. And if I lift up one of those little corners, you can see that when that folds back, it's going to sit correctly. So it's sometimes worth checking because it's very easy to get confused when you're working with all these little different patches. 
So now I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and sew again either side of that drawn line, just the same as before, but we'll be crossing over the previous seam this time. And with the other one as well, so just quarter of an inch to the side. So just keep an eye that the seams are still staying, staying um, together, snuggled in nice and tight so that you get a nice point in the middle. And you can usually feel it if it's moved you can usually feel, so it's quite good to get used to feeling your fabrics. So I'm going to snip those apart and same again, we're going to trim, cut those in half along the drawn line. over and I'm going to press those open now. Now I'm just going to press the seams to one side. It doesn't make a, a big difference at this stage as long as you press them nicely. That linen seems to be cooperating very nicely. I know that if I wear linen it creases at the drop of a hat so it should press fine. Okay, and this one. I love this soft yellow with this soft grey, it's very pretty. Not my normal colours, I'm enjoying all these new fabrics that are around these days. Okay, so now I've got four quarter square triangle blocks and I just want to trim those now so that they're ready to use. So when you've started with a five inch square and you've done the two lots of sewing, you're going to trim it down to measure four inches. So when you actually sew it into a quilt, it's going to be a three and a half inch block. Um, so just so that you know for calculating, if you're trying to work things out, it will sew in at three and a half, but you're cutting it at four. So what I'm doing now is I'm, I've got a square ruler here, which I find very useful. And in general, square rulers have this diagonal mark that goes across. So I want to start um, with, with all these markings and I'm going to follow one of these lines with the ruler. And I want to position it because I'm cutting it down to four inches so that where the two intersects, the two inch lines, that should intersect with the middle point on your block. So I'm not sure whether you can see that in the video, but I've got it so that this line here is following the sewing line. My intersect of the two inch line is right over the middle and I just check out at the corners to see that that's all intersecting on one of the sewing lines at the four inch mark. Now there's just a little bit to trim off with these, not a huge amount, but it's worth doing to make them a nice even size for you. So I'm going to trim the two sides, then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to reposition my ruler just the same way as before with my two intersecting through the middle and I'm checking that this is on the diagonal and that this, this edge here is now cut. So that should sit along the four inch line and my corners should all intersect and it's all looking pretty good. So now I'm going to trim the other two sides and there I've got a nice cut four inch block. So I'll just do one more just to show you that cutting just to make sure. Okay, so I've got my ruler, I've got the two inch intersection, that middle bit where it crosses over is going to go in the center. The diagonal line is going to go on the diagonal stitching line. And if all goes well, all four corners at that four inch mark should intersect the sewing line. The two inch intersection should go through the center there. And just trim away. So you can see these are funny little bits that you're trimming away. Fabric moves quite a lot when we sew it. And so when we make things just slightly bigger than we're going to trim them, it does make for an, a more accurate and easy to piece uh, block at the end. So again, just checking that my two is intersecting with the middle, my diagonal line is following the stitching line, 
and my points are all intersecting the sewing line so that's all looking pretty good and again just trim those two sides so those two are not yet trimmed so you can see they're just a little bit bigger and ungainly but now I've done these now I don't know what, what we're going to do with these yet I just love the colors so I just thought we'd start off you might do something like that you might space them with another fabric or anything you like really um, I can just quickly show you some in some other colors that I've been making for a, a quilt from one of my patterns this is one of my patterns that's available to purchase and download on my website gourmetquilter.com and it's just a whole lot of these quarter square triangles that have been made from five inch squares so this we're starting off with the exactly the same size as we've got here and we're in, ending up with a four inch uh, block once we've trimmed them and these ones I've just made in some very scrappy um, country colors and I shall just be doing something I'll be doing what's on my pattern there and so you can just see that you can just have a lot of fun with this sort of thing they could be used for any number of other things of course um, but today I just thought I'd show you how to make them and then you can make a decision what it is that you would like to do with them um, so I'll have to think up some specific project for my little yellow and grey blocks which I just think is just delicious really and uh, so that's how to make quarter square triangles using five inch squares thank you